Welcome to this session. We solve a problem involving the application of Cauchy integral formulas. So we have to evaluate the integral of the function e raised to power 3z over z minus log of 2 raised to power 4, where c is a square with vertices plus or minus 1, plus or minus i. So always the first thing is to find the poles. And then the next thing you do the circle specified to know whether the poles, uh, poles lies within the circle or within the region or outside the region. If all the points lies outside the specified region, then you know that the value of the integral will be zero. But if some of them or all of them lies within the circle or on the circle or on the region, or the curve defining the region, then you have to use uh, integral formulas given by Koche to find the value of the specified integral. So let's see how to solve this solution. First step, find the poles. So we say here, the integrand is f of z e raised to power 3z divided by z minus log 2 to power 4. So we first find the pulse. by equating denominator to zero. IE Z minus log of two to power four is equals to zero. The same thing as saying Z minus log of two equals to zero, which implies z equals to log of two. And log of two is zero point three zero one zero two nine nine five seven. So once you get the pole, so uh, i e z equals to log of two is a pole of order four because the power of this term was four. So we sketch the specified region to know whether the pole is within the region or not. If the point will be outside then immediately say the value of the integral is zero, but if the pole will be within the region, then we have to use the formulas to find the value. So if we call this one i, say this one is two i, this one is minus i, this one minus two i, this one is one, minus one, minus two, one, two, three, so this is real, this is imaginary. So the vertices of these circles are these points. So this way I have the I, negative i. So these are the vertices. So if we call this one A, call this point B, call this point C, call this point D. So this, the specified circle, we take this at the direction. So 
So we have found z equals to zero point. So zero point three is a value within here. So this way I have the z is log of two. So the point is within the curve C is within this region here. So because the value is within the region, then we have to use the Cauchy's integral theorem for derivative because the pole is of order four. So uh, we know that the integral along C of F of Z, Z minus A power N plus one is usually given by two pi I over n factorial n to derivative at a. So if we relate this to our problem, then ours is integral along c e raised power three z over z minus log of two raised power four. So that tells us that is it. Uh, this implies that f of z is e raised power 3z, our n, so you see n plus 1, this power here is what is 4. So that means that n will be 4 minus 1, which is 3. And our a is this value of log 2. So a is log two. And actually that log two is within the specified region. So therefore, uh, this integral will be the same as two pi i over n is three, so three factorial times the third derivative of this function at log of two. So let's get, so our f of z is given by e raised power 3z. So the first derivative of z using chain rule will be 3 e raised power 3z. The second derivative of z, we differentiate this one, we get 9 e raised power 3z. And then the third derivative of this function will be 27 e raised power 3z. So therefore, the integral along c of e raised power 3z over z minus log of 2 power 4 dz is given by 2 pi i. Now, 3 factorial is the same as 6. So this one will be times 27, e raised power 3. And then where the z we put log of 2. So this will give us, so 3 here, 2, 3 here, 9, 2, 1, 2, 1. So this will be 9 pi e raised power 3, and then log of 2, which is the same as saying 9 pi e raised power log of 2 power 3, just loss of logarithms. And then this is the same as 9 pi e raised power log of 8. And you see 
e raised to power log of x the same as x. So this is the same as nine pi times simply eight. So nine pi times eight, we get so uh, nine pi i uh, this an i this an i from the formula. So this i. So there's an i here. So there's an i. So times eight. This gives us twenty seven uh, seventy two pi i. So we get seventy two pi i as the solution to our given integral. So that's how we solve the problem specified. Thank you.